Chapter Chaudhary. I'll be speaking about the tide and tidal predictions today. I'm going to uh, refer to the tide tables of 1992. In 1992, the world was divided as far as the tide is concerned. The world was divided in three parts, three zones. One is uh, UK and European ports. The part two and part three were rest of the world. So today we are going to focus on how to uh, do the tidal predictions in respect of the European ports. So let us say uh, we need to find out the intermediate height and intermediate tide on a particular day. So how do we do that? To find out intermediate height of tide and intermediate time of a particular level of water, uh, we need to use the curves. We need to use the curves to find out intermediate height and intermediate time. A typical uh, European curve can be drawn like this. This middle part representing high water and we have the neap and spring uh, ranges represented by pect line and the sound line. Say a uh, neap uh, may be say 4.0 and this may be 5.5 meters. For the standard port, we have taken a certain standard port. Say the tidal predictions for the standard port were high water 0020 at and 5.8 meters and low water was say at uh, 0710 at 2.1 meter and then again high water was at say uh, uh, 1400 and that was 6.4 meters and so on. Now we are wanting to find out say uh, high water at some time between 0020 and 0710 say at uh, uh, 0, 06 o'clock. We want to find out what is the height of tide at 0, 0600. 0. As you know height of tide is measured above the chart datum and chart datum is on British Admiralty chart the lowest astronomical tide. So uh, and the charted soundings on the British Admiralty chart are at chart datum. So how much is the water at 6 o'clock above the chart datum that is above that level. We want to find out what is the height of tide at 6 o'clock. So uh, it means that we need to consider this window between 0020 and 0710 as you see the tide is uh, on the fall because it is high water at 0020 and thereafter the tide is falling and 0710 is the low water. So uh, in this tidal curve, this part of the curve represents the rise of tide and this part of the curve represents the fall of tide. That means we need to consider this part of the curve. Over here you will find there is a line and that is referred to as that is referred to as chart datum or zero height of tide. Now there are scales made on the upper part and the lower part. What we will do is we will mark the low water here. Suppose the low water 2.1 can be marked here and 5.8 be marked here. We can call this line as the interpolation line. So the curve appears like this is the work to be done by the candidate. Now if you see in this particular window that we have selected the difference of the timings is called duration of tide. So duration of tide is 0710 minus 0020. So that is 05, 05, 05 hours and 50 minutes is duration of tide. And the difference between the heights of tide at high and low water is called range of tide. So how much is the range of tide? 8 minus 1, 7, 5 minus 2, 3, 3.7 is the range of tide. So this window that we are dealing with, the uh, duration of tide is 5 hours 50 minutes and the range of tide is 3.7 meters. 
what is the interval we want to find out height of tide at 6 o'clock what is the interval from high water high water is at 0, 0, 20 and 6 o'clock is 5 hours and 40 minutes so we are talking about 5 hours and 40 minutes after high water so 1 hour 2 hour 3 4 5 5 hours and 40 minutes maybe here and then we go upwards we are cutting the pect line over here and we are cutting the sound line over here now pect line may represent 4.0 meters and the sound line may represent 5.5 meters we can visually interpolate or we can divide this sector okay the line that we had drawn that line we had drawn and cutting the pect line and the sound line we can probably divide it in three parts so uh, the lowermost is 4 then 4.5 then 5 then 5.5 our predicted range as you have seen is 3.7 meter okay now if my predicted range was 4 meter, I would have turned left from here. If my predicted range was 4.5 meters, I would have turned left from here. If it was 5 meters, I would have turned left from here. But my predicted range is 3.7, one golden rule in calculation of tide. Except for finding out the height difference of the second report, nowhere in the tide calculation, the extrapolation is allowed. So please remember, if your range of tide is less than 4 meters, I cannot extrapolate, I will have to turn left at 4 meter itself, I keep going till I hit the interpolation line and when I test the interpolation line I go up and I find the height of tide to be say probably 2.4 meters. So this is the height of tide that I found for 6 o'clock. Once again it is very very important to uh, uh, ensure two things, number one. I need to find out, if I have to find out uh, what is the height of tide at a particular time, I first must find out what is the interval from high water. Uh, in this particular case, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours and 40 minutes and that happens to be here, I go up, right? This line that I have drawn up cuts the pect line and the sound line at two different points. I put the marking, so this is 4 meter, 4.5 meters, 5 meters, 5.5 meters. I must turn left at 4 meters because I am not allowed to extrapolate. Although my range is less than 4 meters, I will turn left at 4. If my range was more than 5.5, I would have turned at 5.5. But if my range was say uh, 5 meters, I would have turned at this point. Right? So when I come here, I get height of tide to be 2.4 meters. The total height of water is the charted sounding plus 2.4. 2.4 is height of tide above the chart data. Now we will use the curve in a different way. Uh, earlier we started from here, that is the bottom uh, axis, and we had gone up here on the top line. We had found out that the height of tide was 2.4 meters. Now what we will do is, we will try to find out, say after sunrise, say in this particular window, after sunrise, when is the first time that the height of tide is going to be 4 meters? Uh, I realize here that the duration of tide is 6 hours 50 minutes. I will correct that. So what I will do is, uh, for the low water, I will mark 2.1 meter here for this particular window. 2.1 meter is here and say 6.4 meters is here. I join the two with a straight line and 6.4, 2.1 meter here. The 4 meters should be somewhere here. I come down from 4 meter and where I cut the interpolation line, I turn uh, horizontal. This point is 4 meters and this point represents 5.5 meters. I divide it in 3 parts. So 4.3 meters, which is our range of tide, should be somewhere here. From there, I come down like this. Uh, this point represents the interval with respect to high water when we will get the required height of tide 4 meter. So 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hours, probably 3 hours and 25 minutes before high water. The high water is at 1400 hours and 0325 would be uh, 1035. 
So at 10.35, we are going to have the height of tide, 4 meters. Once again, we wanted to know what time will be uh, the height of tide, 4 meters attained. So we need to see this particular window because the question says that after sunrise, when is the first time the height of tide going to be 4 meters, it's a rising tide. So we are looking at this part of the curve and uh, 4 meters, we start with this. And for 4 meters, we start with the stop axis. We come down where we hit the interpolation line, which is made by 2.1 meter and 6.4 meters. At that point, I turn left and then where I find the relevant range that is 4.3. Mind you, this is 4 meters, this is 5.5 meters because NEEP is 4, SPRING is 5.5 and about 4.3 which I find by visual interpolation, I come down. This point is 1, 2, 3, 3 hours, 25 minutes approximately before the high water. High water is at 1400 hours. So 3 hours and 25 minutes before that, that means 10.35 is the time, the local time when I get height of tide as 4 meters. So this way we have seen, we can use the curve starting from the bottom axis, reaching here to get the height of tide or starting with the height of tide, coming down to the bottom axis to find out the interval from high water. So this was the use of curve in European waters to find out the intermediate height and intermediate time. Thank you.